Hey folks, this is Roger. Uh, what you're looking at here is something I've uh, just pulled together, having uh, scavenged a few pieces off of uh, other engines. You're looking at a Jensen 95G turbine that came off a Jensen 95G. Uh, a Jensen 15BL, that's uh, ball bearings uh, on the axles. And turn the thing around. Made, uh, made the lamp so it is switchable. So uh, you can get some speed up on the turbine before you kick in the lamp. And the uh, um, seam line to it came off the 95G as well and it's been reconfigured in another uh, another fashion. One last thing I added was a bit of a, I'll call it a steam dam. So when this thing's running, the steam pouring off of this uh, turbine is not drenching the generator because it was drenching the generator and I thought it better for the generator to have a bit of a uh, protective shield in there. So that's just a standing piece of metal. So we're gonna give this a try here. What you're hearing in the background is my Jensen uh, my Jensen 51 replica running, and we've got uh, about, let's see, 26, 28 pounds on, uh, on the pressure gauge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, uh, I'm going to turn the Jensen 51 replica off. There, quiet at least. But uh, I've got to quickly get some steam flowing down here. And that's what I've done. What you got here, this thing is an st absolute steam hog, and uh, it's uh, now running it off about 28 pounds of pressure, so, you know, plenty of oomph. I kicked the uh, little switch in the back, you can see the uh, lamp glow nicely. I have a lot of room light here, so it's kind of drowning it out, but uh, if I shut the room light off, which I'll try here, that's some of the room light off, you can see that's uh, nicely illuminating the lamp, because it is, uh, it is running at some pretty high speed. In fact, I'm going to cut back one of my uh, uh, heater elements because it's pushing 33 pounds. <laughs> I don't like to go above that or it'll kick off the uh, pressure uh, uh, safety valve. Anyways, that's that. the view from that side. Let's see if we can turn this thing around so you can see it from here. I think this thing's really pretty. The, uh, when Jensen designed the 95G uh, uh, turbine, which was built by Karsten Ginchel of Germany, when they designed the turbine, uh, they made a 10 to 1 reduction ratio with what you can't see it here, but it's a very nice uh, brass gear frame. It takes the speed of the turbine and uh, cuts it to, to 1 tenth so that it's matched up better with the uh, generator and doesn't blow bulbs. But uh, that also allows it to have a little bit of oomph so that you don't turn the lamp on and kill the, kill the steam. Um, I'm going to turn my steam engine back on here, getting a little high in the pressure gauge again. <laughs> kind of hard to film this stuff at the same time you're uh, trying to watch, watch the equipment. Anyways, this is running very high speed now and I'll flip the generator lamp back on, you can see it. All in all, I am very happy with this layout. Uh, the uh, generator and the turbine are mounted onto a uh, nice piece of uh, walnut that uh, I scavenged from uh, a, 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 an awards plaque, and I cut a new, uh, a new routed edge to it. But anyways, uh, that's about it. Pouring out steam, I can't, uh, I can't put the camera too close, or it'll soak it. But anyways, Jensen 95G uh, turbine paired up with a number 15 uh, ball bearing uh, generator, and working uh, quite nicely. I'm very pleased with it. Okay, folks, that's about it. Take care. Thank you.